So I'm here right now in this really quaint room in the Highgate House, part of the Sunlaw Group. I've done a couple of videos on this fascinating five or six hours that my daughter and I have spent here, Naomi. Uh, we were invited here and we've just had a magnificent experience up until now. And we went to dinner with one of the owners, Lucy McKibbins, who was a, a client of mine, who again, it sounds weird, but says everything in her life shifted five years ago, or, or a significant portion of her life shifted uh, when she did a class with me. And, and if that doesn't make you feel good, it makes me feel good. Okay? But uh, we were finishing dinner, it was 9.20, and I said to her, you know, it's probably time for you to go. You know, you've got things to do. And, and uh, I said, the only thing I would really like to do, I said, if you'll just tell us where, uh, the stables are, if you direct me to the stables, because the last time I was here, we went down to the stables, it was during the day, and she said, you want to go see my horse, Madge? And I said, well, I, you've got to go. She said, no, please, please, please. She said, just let me do this. Let me take it down to the horses. And we went down, and there's her stables where she keeps her horses, and they do the hunting thing. And I'm, I guess. I've never seen that part where they chase the foxes around the wood. Um, but she talks about hunting, and I know that's um, on horseback here. And we went down. Walked down this little dark alley, and the last time I was here, I met with her dad, and I didn't get a chance to meet with him this time, which is a little, um, it's okay, I guess now things are, but we got down there, and she's introducing us to our horses, and she introduces us to Barry, who's, Barry's a little pushy, I guess, is what she said, and she introduces us to Mage, who's this unbelievable, I mean, great big horse, great, I mean, really, I mean, like, really tall, and mostly a white horse with blue eyes, and just... I, I like horses, but I'm not used to being around them much, and they're so big. But we went into the stall with Madge, Madge, and like she just came in, she would just lay her head and let me work on her neck, and and she just it was fascinating how just comfortable this horse was around us. And then we went in to see uh, I think his name was Barry, this other horse, and. He just he was a little standoffish at first, and then came over, and I put my hand out, and, and he started just you know doing what those horses do. But it's it's a it's a magical place here. It's a it's a piece of heaven for sure. Uh, we talked about children ed children's education, and that we have to change things from the bottom up. Uh, we have to start educating the kids in a little bit of a different way. Starting to get their curiosity out, starting to let them have some leadership skills and stuff. But I know I'm rambling a little bit, but this has been a hell of an evening. It's been a great evening. Uh, I'll try to get some pictures on uh, of this. I'll get links definitely on my website uh, so you can see this facility. Uh, if you get a chance, it's quite an experience. Have fun. Have a great evening.